This is how to make the juiciest chicken breast you will ever have. You're gonna start out with the chicken breast, of course, season with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and cayenne pepper. Flip and hit both sides, then you're gonna get a pan hot on medium high heat. Go in with some oil, drop your chicken right in there, sear for about five minutes, and then you're gonna flip and sear for another three minutes on the other side. Now you're gonna drop some butter right in there. I'm using a Chipotle compound butter. If you guys want the recipe for that, scroll through my page, baste your chicken up, then remove it from the heat and let it rest. Cut right into it and enjoy. I'm so sick of seeing dry chicken on here. You guys gotta start making it like this. For me. Let's make the ultimate Nashville hot chicken tenders. First up, slice the chicken breast into tenders. Add to a container with buttermilk and the spices. Allow to marinate in the fridge for at least an hour or up until overnight. Once the chicken is marinated, we need to make the dry dredge. Combine the flours and the remaining spices. Now for the wet mix. Add two eggs to the buttermilk from the chicken marinade, pickle juice, hot sauce, and the MSG. Preheat a pot with veggie oil. Whisk in a tablespoon of your wet mix to your dry. Now we're ready to coat our chicken into the dry mix, wet mix, and then finally the dry mix again. This is what we're aiming for. Carefully place your chicken into the fryer. While the chicken's frying, combine all the ingredients for the spice oil mix. After six to eight minutes, it's time to pull the tenders out of the fryer and just look at how crispy they are. Coat them immediately with the hot spice oil. Grab a slice of bread and top it with both tenders and a pickle on each. And boom, there we have the ultimate Nashville hot chicken tenders. Dig in and enjoy.